oh gosh, I liked it a lot, and there were probably more special things than I could than I can think of. Um, but um, being uh, in Leipzig and being at the University of Leipzig in particular was, I think, um, very special for me. Um, uh, this is a part of Germany that I um, uh, could never visit before 1989, although I had spent time in Germany um, um, at university campuses before, but um, uh, the University of Leipzig uh, is, is an uh, institution I was always aware of. Um, and. Uh, I'm very honored to, to be uh, a temporary part of it, uh, of this 600-year-old institution. I felt very comfortable with my colleagues and uh, uh, felt that I had good connections with the students um, as well, both uh, in the classroom and really outside of the classroom as well. A number of the students have uh, uh, made an effort to uh, get to know me personally and uh, let me know a little bit about them personally. Um, and. Uh, 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 that's been very rewarding because I, I, I get an insight into um, what students are experiencing right now, not only from my classroom, but just generally um, uh, at the university and, and uh, uh, as they're planning their careers and getting ready to start careers uh, in the early part of the uh, 21st century, sort of the things that are on their mind. Uh, uh, and uh, so that's been a very good experience. One of the um, real um, nice things uh, uh, and important things about the Fulbright experience that you're told uh, ahead of time you'll, you'll have this experience, but until it actually happens, you, you don't realize how um, uh, remarkable it is. Um, the Fulbright experience pulls you out of your normal routine. Um, not only it, it, does it pull you out of uh, where, where you normally work, um, uh, to a completely different country and a completely different institution and, and uh, uh, community, but it also pulls you out of the mindset that you have in another, in your, in your regular routine. And that's been very, very helpful to me. Teaching in an American Studies uh, interdisciplinary program uh, in Germany has been uh, a, a, a really interesting experience for me to think about uh, uh, what uh, I can contribute to uh, this program and to your experience as students um, and, uh, uh, and, and why this is even important. And uh, uh, there's a quick answer, obviously. You can say, well, America's a big country and it controls a lot of influence and, and resources and uh, so you need to understand it. But I think um, uh, what, what I see, uh, and again, this has been part of my experience um, uh, getting to understand what's happened in Leipzig and in the former GDR uh, over the last 20 years or so, um, uh, the, um, uh, the, the uh, influence of America, uh, uh, American values, American ideas, American systems, um, American business um, uh, has uh, invaded uh, Saxony. Um, uh, much more rapidly than it has invaded other parts of Germany and other parts of the world because it was just su such a sudden rush. Um, but I don't think that invasion is over with. I think that um, uh, in the coming decades that um, uh, there will be continued uh, uh, pressures to um, uh, consider uh, American um, uh, interests in American solutions. Uh, there will be more and more uh, American businesses uh, hoping to establish uh, a commercial base here um, and so on because uh, um, uh, that's just the nature of American culture. A and, uh, uh, but as that happens, um, I, I think that uh, uh, Germans uh, and, and Leipzigers are going to have to really um, uh, very intelligently decide <coughs> what American systems, values, ideas, products, um, um, and, and requests or demands they want to uh, adopt, uh, which they want to adapt, um, and which they uh, want to um, politely decline. Um, and, uh, and a background uh, in American uh, culture, American uh, history, American uh, politics, uh, all of the things that we, um, uh, th that we offer in this department uh, 
uh, will be invaluable in making intelligent decisions about, you know, what do you uh, take from America and what, uh, and, and, and what do you, uh, 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 what do you make decisions about? Uh, and it's more than a matter of understanding American English. It's really a matter of understanding the entire context behind um, a particular uh, issue or a particular practice or a particular product uh, that I think uh, will make uh, all of you very well versed um, uh, uh, and to uh, intelligently make those decisions. Um, if I could snap my fingers and, and, and uh, 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 sort of make things happen the way I think they should happen uh, in Germany. All of you coming out of American studies programs would, would be policy advisors to um, a lot of decision-making authorities, whether they are government or business, uh, because I think that uh, in this particular context, I think you could uh, 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 contribute a lot. So um, how scary is that? <laughs> it's been a very rewarding experience for me to uh, be a part of um, uh, a, a major university, uh, the University of Leipzig, um, and uh, one of the most vital uh, American studies programs um, in Germany for uh, this semester.